The following video is not intended for viewers under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to change trash into treasure. That's right, we're gonna repair some of these broken toys. Well, I'm just gonna be working on Ripper here today, one of the dreadnoughts from G.I. Joe's Real American Hero line, 1984. Now, first thing you can see, I'm removing the screw from the back. Now make sure you have a tiny Phillips head screwdriver and make sure it's fitted tightly inside the screw before you start turning. This is an old screw and you don't want to strip the head. And there we go. Plop. Out it all comes. And look at this screw. Look at how rusted that thing is. That's an old screw. So to do my repair here, I need a new O-ring. And I picked up this whole bag of 100 O-rings and 100 screws off of eBay from a seller in China. I mean, it makes sense. These G.I. Joe figures were made in China 40 years ago. They would have the appropriate parts. So I stretched the O-ring out a little bit because uh, you want to give it a, some elasticity. They're going to be a little tight first starting out. They've never been used before. And as you can see, this figure... His T-hook is still connected to the legs. The knees bend nicely, so we don't need to replace that. So we'll just hook the O-ring into the T-hook. And now I take his uh, hip joint here and feed the O-ring up through. And what I like to do once I get that O-ring inside there is take another tiny screwdriver and hook the O-ring with it and then just keep some tension on it while I fit the legs up inside because you don't want that O-ring slipping off and falling back down. So now that we've got the legs in place, get our back piece and we need to stretch the O-ring out, give ourselves some slack and fit that peg in the back piece inside the O-ring and prop it back to put some tension on it. And now we can push the O-ring down in, make sure it's tight against the back. Now be careful because if you start to slip a little bit here, there's a lot of tension on that O-ring and that will happen. And <laughs> so just arch it back a little bit and it should hold in place so that you can take the arms and just carefully drop them in the sockets. There's, if you get them balanced right, they'll hold themselves in place, but there's really nothing holding them except for just balancing them properly. And then finally we get the head on there and then all there is left to do is take the front half of his torso, line it up and sandwich everything together. And there we go. All those parts are in place. So we hold that together and get a new screw from the bag you saw me have there. We we're going to use a new screw, never reuse the old screw because it might strip and just just trust me use a new screw and only tighten it down until you get some resistance do not over tighten this this is 40 year old plastic that can become brittle and if you crack that housing for that screw then you're all done game's over so all of his upper torso joints are nice and firm we have a successful operation ripper is good to go Now, see how simple that was? And that's all there is to it. There he is. Now, I got this figure in a group of, I think there was three more along with this one that I got out of an auction on eBay for less than $8 because they were all broken like this. And I paid less than $5 for the O-rings and screws. And now because of that, I've taken all these garbage parts and made them collectible. And now that I've done that, you know how to do it, too. And knowing is half the battle. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, then please leave me a like and subscribe. And don't forget, after subscribing, to click on the bell to receive notifications when new content is up.
If you feel I missed something or you just have a question, drop it down below and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. I really do try to read all of them. And again, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.